and welcome to the next edition of Competitive Sweet List. So I got three decks to talk about, two of which are the same similar style deck, but they're different, you know, different numbers and everything like that. So we're going to get through those two together first, and then we're going to get into the last deck. So if you like this series, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So we're for future videos. We're nine subs out from a thousand. Once we get there, that is a huge milestone because then I start making ad revenue. So if you, be, I'd be very much appreciated if we can get there. And uh, of course, I will make a special stream or vid additional video uh, featuring um, Desert Stompy. So if you're interested in watching that, make sure you sub. So let's get into these deck lists and discuss. So first on my list is this Orzhov Vampires list. So there's two different Orzhov Vamps. This one is less spicy in my opinion. Um, but we do have Vanguard and Egger and a Blood Baron. So, you know, there's a decent amount of white stuff going on here. We also play Copter, which kind of has fallen out of favor in a lot of different decks just because it's just not really, I don't think it's as good as what people thought it was going to be. Turns out it's kind of mediocre. It does pick up Vanishing Verse, which is a premier removal, removal spell with Better Triumph and Fatal Push. It still has a Soren Vein Ripper package with Preacher, uh, Shieldred, and a Cali Toss, and some Dust Legion Zealots. So instead, basically instead of the the two drop Vampire, uh, we're picking up Vanguard. So that's a I guess an okay exchange. Um, I still do think the other one's better. The um, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. It's been in Vracto's midrange for the longest time. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. You're probably going to tell me down in the comment section. That's why I don't remember. Is because I want you to engage and put your comment down there. Uh, correcting what my uh, my uh, debacle here. Because I don't remember for some reason. Um, two d Damping Spheres on the board for Lotus Field and Quatorius. We have two Bank Busters for uh, midrange. Also Control. Two Rest in Peace for... Fang and Phoenix, uh, two Path of Perils for aggro, two Wedding Announcements for grindy matchups, two Blood Barons, also good against aggro, uh, especially against humans, really good there. Uh, one Ashiok for additional Graveyard Heat, a Duress for control, and a Liliana also for control. That is our Orzhov Vampires. So of course, like against control, we will probably cut the Fatal Pushes, go up Lily, Duress, um, probably also the Bengis, so that seems like a pretty good swap. Um, so that is our first list. Let's get into the second Orzhov Vampires list. So the second variant, uh, of course, is playing Forerunner, the, the Legion, which is the uh, search for a vampire put on top of your library, uh, which is kind of interesting. And then whenever a new vampire comes under your control, uh, target creature gets plus one, plus one to one a turn. Uh, so it's kind of more of a tutor package, so you can get your Soren online. Um, so you search the Vein Ripper, and then you get your then Soren comes down and cast it. And this deck does pick up uh, Invasion of Gomacon. It's a great way adjacent to the Thought Seizes for hand disruption, plus its uh, protection. Uh, this deck also, for some reason, is playing one copy of Amalia. Extra some extra lords with Legion's Lieutenant, Dust Legion Zealot still in the deck. Uh, we have Preacher of the Schism still in the in the list, and a Shieldred. Uh, so other than that, like the deck is pretty stock, same as the other one. So sideboard looks like it's identical, except there is an Egger in the board, which I guess is interesting. Um, and also a Shieldred's Edict. So that is kind of what we're running instead. It looks like the deck is not playing any Path of Perils. So you do lose a little bit of ground against like Gruel Aggro. Um, but you gain extra value, I think, in other grindy matchups. So I'm guessing there's enough in this main board to deal with aggro that you don't necessarily need the Path of Peril. And that is our second Orzhov Vampire list. Let's get into the last list. Last on my list is a Golgari Rock deck piloted by Mark Mullet, Mulling. Uh, he is a, traditionally, he's quite common. Um, he has his own channel he's starting up. If you're interested in checking out his content, let me know and I will post a link to his channel. Um, but he piloted this deck to a 5-0. I believe that the actual gameplay is on his channel if you want to go check it out. Uh, he is playing three Cemetery Prowers. 
I guess I never really thought about even running that card. Um, but then again, also my, my mid range pile is a Jingatha deck. So double green pips would be a issue. And then also he's playing three copies of the brand new Bronco. Uh, I tried it in Recto and have them mid range. I had mixed feelings on it. Um, uh, I wasn't overly impressed and it's not as good in my opinion as Dread Knight. Uh, so I do, I am curious to see, I guess maybe I need to try it a, a little bit more. Uh, it's also playing one copy of Vivian, and then it has a Gitrog monster on the board as a target. That seems to be the only target. Uh, which, the Gitrog monster is a pretty base creature. So maybe that is a card I should actually try. Um, but I don't know, really, I didn't really think I needed a 5 drop in my, my version. It is playing 3 Liliana of the Fails. It does stink against Phoenix, but any other matchup, like, even gets aggro, just making your opponent sack. 3 mana sack, target player sacks a creature. It's not, un, you know, it's not laughable, right? It's, it's not, it's never really bad, except against Phoenix. Um, but other than that, it's really good against Control, the Mirrors, and stuff like that. We have a single Abrupt Decay, pretty good card, uh, especially since it answers Soren as well as most creatures. So we have a Go for the Throat, and uh, two Go for the Throats, a Bitter Triumph, and Fatal Push, just four copies as our choice of removal. Uh, then we have four Sentinels, because I think it's actually one of the better three drops that you could play. Uh, in the mixture of black and green, I think it's even better than Preacher of the Schism. Um, in my personal opinion, because it does make maps and does dig as well. Uh, it doesn't like, cost life, lose life, and also it gets really chunky and has Vigilance, which is kind of relevant against aggro. He does have some creature lands with Hive and Cottage and a Lair, which is pretty uh, you know important to have your utility lands. Uh, sideboard, we do have three picker poisons for the Vein Ripper, T one duress for control in mid range, two damping spheres for Quintorius, and of course, also uh, the um, Lotus Field matchup. Two Ashiox also helps against Lotus Field, and also Graveyard Hate. Three Extinction Events plus one Calling Ritual for the quote unquote Mono Green matchup. It is coming back. And also, it's really uh, not calling ritual for mono green, but the like EEs are good against mono green, and the, all the other stuff is good against aggro. We have two Ren and Realm Breakers for the grindy matchups. Um, just making it a quote unquote hex proof land that's hard to answer is pretty good overall, most of the part. And then we have a Get Truck Monster, like I said earlier, it is a one of tutor target for your Vivian. Um, I'm surprised he is not running extra. Utility creatures in the board, even something like scavenging use could be something of uh, relevance if you need something, you know, to eat up graveyards uh, game one. But that seems to be a pretty solid list overall. If, of course, if you're Mark, make, <laughs> go ahead and comment down below. So that way, uh, you know, that, that, that would also be quite nice. So that way everyone knows your channel. So that way you can immediately go to his. Let me know down in the comment section what decks of these you think is your favorite, what decks you think actually can compete the most, take it to an RCQ this season, like since it is pretty much Pioneer season. Um, I do actively want to start getting into RCQ. Um, I'm just trying to find what decks I want to actively keep playing through leagues. If you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section. And until next time, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification before you head out that door. And until next time, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.